Good morning, everybody. JR Fisher here. I want to welcome everybody on this, I was going to say bright, sunny day, but I looked across the United States and it's not bright and sunny in every single place. But I want to welcome everybody. I want to encourage you to use that chat box today. I'm going to actually show you behind the scenes of a funnel and how it's built and how it works and how you can actually copy it and use it in your business to make money. Uh, but I do want to welcome everybody and you could welcome me by giving me a thumbs up. That would be really nice. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a big subscribe button down there. Click that button, turn it from red to gray. And don't forget, ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live. I have switched due to one of my uh, viewers to this nice little mouse here, this cordless mouse, so I don't have to keep reaching up and, and hit my pet. And the funny thing about this mouse is I've had it for five six years and it was sitting in the closet and i'm like why why do we buy stuff like that and not use it? it makes no sense to me but anyhow i want to welcome everybody uh, i think we got a really cool session today because it's not only it's not theory okay that's that's what i want to tell you it's not theory i'm shaking my camera there it's not theory it's actual things that we've done uh, that we've gotten results from that you can actually copy and you can use them for yourself and i'm going to take you behind the scenes I will say I use a particular software to do all this. It's called Kartra. Um, you can actually uh, find a link to Kartra in the description after this video has been uploaded, not when it's live, but after it's been uploaded. Um, when you click that link, you can actually get Kartra for $1. Uh, good morning, Christine. Good to see you there. Uh, you're in Northern California, I believe. Uh, how's things going? Tell me about your rentals. Tell me about your projects. What's going on? I want to know. Uh, and guys do like christine say hello to me let me know that you're alive out there the more participation um, that you put out there then the better off you're going to be and i'll be uh also who else we got in here paul just jumped in nice and sunny here in hot springs your audio and video looking good today brother thank you so much paul i appreciate the input guys see he's at least letting me know something okay so that's all you got to do is to say something just participate that participation really helps the distribution of my videos, uh, really gets it out in front of more people. So if you find it useful, you know, it will be more useful to other people too. So I'm really excited about this because I got this idea to run this funnel. Um, and, you know, I say funnel. Funnel is really um, kind of an overused word. It's, it's basically getting people into something and showing them more and more information and making offers and giving them free downloads and all that. But... The, this point I'm starting at, excuse me, today is if you had a list, okay? Now, if you don't have a list, just make notes of all this. And as you're starting your list, you can do this. Uh, but this is for people who have a list. Uh, she says it's sunny in Shasta too. Well, good for you. Now, it's sunny here, but it's like, I don't know, what is the temperature right now? It's 45 degrees, so it's a little chilly. I think it's supposed to be up to 61 today. Um, and I was actually feeling sorry for myself. And then I looked at my son's weather. He is in uh, Cleveland, and I think it's 22 degrees, and they've gotten a foot of snow uh, within the past uh, 24 hours, and it feels like 11. So, yeah. So, I'll take this weather any day. This is this is beautiful. This is nice. I'll stick with it. Uh, it's probably not as warm as it was in San Diego, where I used to live, but that's okay. Okay? There's other advantages. So, today, let's pretend that you have a list. Now, those of you who do have a list, well, you don't have to pretend because you've got a list. But I want to show you the sequence that went out to people. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Laura, what's going on? Uh, Laura from Ontario, Canada. I have been researching LOL on how to make money for over a year. Took a three month break. Haven't made a dime. It's okay. Because in the beginning, I didn't make a dime either. As a matter of fact, for the first probably six months, Laura, I didn't make any money. I lost money. All I did was spend money. So you're in the right place because I can relate to you. I've done the same thing. Uh, how long did it take you to get proficient in doing funnels, by the way? Hope Sun is doing better. Uh, proficient. Wow. What do we describe as proficient? I'm still working on my skills. Um, I really have been selling online for going on 12 years. Uh, and I would say just started learning funnels about five or six years ago. I mean, before that, it was just websites and sending out emails i didn't i didn't know the whole concept so only about six years five six years i've been doing that um laura lee mealy 
Is that Laura Lee Mealy? Am I saying that right? Cold and snowy here in Ontario, Canada. I'm jealous. Well, you don't have to be jealous. And by the way, Laura, you can promote whatever you want in that chat section. So if you've got a website, if you've got products, you got whatever you want to promote, stick it in that chat section. I don't mind in the least. This channel is really designed to help people um, promote their business. Okay. So I, I would be uh, amiss if I didn't let you do that. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to share my screen and uh, then I'm going to get over to some of the products. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do screen share. And I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, I think that's the one I want to share. And I'm going to click share here. And you guys let me know if it pops up on your screen, if you can see like a, a screen in screen. Uh, because, yeah, okay, I think I just saw it pop up on mine. Uh, I was going to give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up. Goodness gracious, don't do that. Um, so in just a second, guys, you should see the interior part of my Kartra account. Do you guys see that okay? Is that is that visible to you? I'm going to get the sidebar out of the way, but I'm going to show you what the sidebar does. So this that you're looking at right now, as you can see, is a sequence. Now, I know this looks complicated. I get it, Okay. It's not really complicated. I'm going to walk you through all of this, okay? So the first part of a sequence. Now, this is an automation. And what that means is every time somebody joins my list, okay, and they qualify to what this is, they're going to be thrown into the sequence and it automatically starts the sequence for them, okay, individual. Um, initially, when I built this, uh, which was last, well, I built it over the past couple of weeks, but last Thursday it actually started uh, and it ran for four days. So it ran Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But anybody else now that joins the list will get into this funnel. So it's kind of cool. So let's look at the starting point, okay? So we're going to go in here to edit. Uh, and this is the starting rule. Now, when you're building a sequence inside of Kartra, this is the first thing you'll come to. So, you know, I started them with any tag uh, from category SCF. Okay. Um, you could start them with an opt-in form. So maybe they opt into one of the things you had here. These are all the different opt-ins I have. Um, or maybe it's a list. Okay. You could start it with a list or maybe, you know, when they ordered something, it started them here, or maybe they just landed on one of your pages. You could start them on that. Um, you could start them from a sequence. You could start them from an automation, but basically I started them from a tag and that tag was, uh, lead is assigned to any tag from category SCF. Okay, so that's what started them on it. Now, right after I did that, I went to the split. Okay, and I want to look at the split here real quick. And so you can actually see what the split is. Um, this is the split. I have two kinds of customers that are going to be tagged in SCF, which is Survival K Food. One is a retail buyer and one is a wholesale buyer. Now, a wholesale buyer, I'm not going to send them my retail uh, announcements or funnels or sales or whatever, because what they do is they actually sell my product to other people. So they don't need to get these because they're not going to be buying off this. So what I do is I do a split and it's right after the previous step. In other words, right after I add them to the sequence, what I do is I say does not have tag SCF retailer. What that means is it's going to pull out anybody, anybody that um, is a retailer of my products because I don't want to send it to them, okay? So that's the first thing it does. Now, the next thing it says, it says true. If they don't have that tag, then go ahead and send them in this direction. If they do have this tag, all right, so that's false. In other words, they do have the tag. Then what I want you to do is send them over here to where it says false. And as you see that line that goes all the way down, it's going to take them out of this sequence because they don't belong in here, okay? That's not who we want to get the tag. But if it's true, then this is going to happen. This email is going to go out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this email that's going to go out right here. Now, this email has a few things that are hooked into it. It's going to go right after the previous step. So when I start this sequence, it's going to send it. And you can see here, right here, I can edit the day and time. I like to send it any day of the week, okay? And I would like to send it uh, at any particular time of day, okay? or between these hours. So whatever you want to do there, you can put there. So that's just a little send email type thing. All right. So now once I've done that, I want to actually look at the actual email that I'm sending out to them. Uh, and if you guys have questions about this while I'm doing it, feel free to put it in that chat section. I will go in there and answer whatever. Now I originally started this 
Uh, and then I, what I had to have to do, I have to name it. I have to put my gateway in here. This is not hard. Um, the recipients are going to be anybody reaching this step. Um, and uh, split test is on. I did a split test originally, but I got rid of it because I found out this one here works better. And what I did on the split test, is I said, after 500 send outs, automatically pick the section, uh, excuse me, automatically pick the version that has the highest click ratio. So Kartra will actually decide which one of these is better. Now, the only difference in these two is the subject line, okay? And in the subject line, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, this one here, I did remove the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, shoot, image in there. So this is the one we're going to edit, okay? We're going to go to this one here, and this is the email that people will actually see. So let's go to the email, and it's the second one here. This is the email they're going to see. And I know this seems a little complicated. Just keep watching. It will click with you. It's like getting on a bicycle, and you keep falling and falling and falling, and all of a sudden you go, oh, this is how I balance this thing. I'm getting it. You will get this, guys. Okay, so I said here first name. Now, what we can do with Kartra is we can actually embed their actual first name. If for some reason they signed up for something and I don't have their first name, they said, well, no, I don't want to give up my first name. It will just leave this blank and it will just put this title right here. It says, could our food supply run out? Question mark. Okay. We all kind of know that it can now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Karen Benzdun just joined. Oh, good, good, good. What program is this? This is called Kartra. Um, Karen, and do me a favor, look in the description after this video is done and you'll find a link to Kartra. Um, what that link will do is allow you to watch a video that explains everything Kartra does. If you're, if you like Kartra, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you like Kartra, you can also get a trial for $1 for two weeks and try it out. But you got to use my uh, link that I'll give you down in the description. Uh, and that'll be in the description after this is not live. Right now, while it's live, there's nothing in the description that automatically populates afterwards. So anyhow, I'm sending them this email. It says, my loss, your gain. I made this video to explain free stuff, the free stuff I'm giving away and a simple half price sale with free shipping. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting, right? Uh, as Paul says, in doing the funnel, do you feel Kartra is almost the same as ClickFunnels or Sam Cart? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It will do everything that ClickFunnels will do. It'll do everything that Sam's card will do, but it also does eight times as much. Uh, and it costs less money. Um, I, don't, I don't know how Kartra does what they do, but it is by far the best online marketing, email, funnel maker, sequence maker, page maker, everything. And I'm going to show you the page I made where they're going to go to, too. Uh, but it's, it's far better. Um, so anyhow, since I made this uh, video to explain the free stuff I'm giving away, click here to get all the details. So if you notice, I didn't give away what the details were. I said it was a half price sale. OK, but I didn't say what it was on. I didn't say, you know, what the half price was. I didn't say any amounts. Leave all of those specifics out of your email. If they're in your email, there's no reason for them to click. You know, if they look at it and see it's, let's say, $199 and they've only got 100 bucks, guess what? They're not going to click. They're not going to do it. So, you know, you've lost people that are going to go to that page uh, and you don't have an opportunity to sell them. So you don't want to put all the details in email. It works like this. It, when you're sending out an email, the subject line is just supposed to get them to open. And my subject line says, could our food supply run out? It doesn't say anything about a half price sale or any of that stuff because I want them to open the email. Um, says this is the one email that could save your life. No, seriously. Okay, well, that makes me kind of want to read it, right? So as you go down here, it says this explainer video will only be available for a limited time, but you can watch it here now. So if you've noticed, I've got these links here. There's a link here, and there's also another link. Where is it? Da, 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 right here. So I've already got two links in here. Then the rest of the email goes on to say, I know you're going to be super happy with how I handled the situation and took care of all my loyal customers. What situation? How did you handle it? They have to click to figure it out. It also says, P.S., remember, good things come to those who take advantage of opportunities, and your chance to get in on this is limited. Click here now to get the scoop. And I'm going to show you what they're going to see in just a second. Um, let's see. By the way, it was interesting to see stores here get cleared out of products for a storm that failed to be a significant event. Yeah, I know what you're saying there, Paul. And I think I think it's a shame when that happens when it when the storm doesn't happen. Because 
then people say, oh, well, what's the point in stocking up? What's the point in having anything? It's probably not going to happen anyhow. What if it does? What if it does? So, you know, in our company, we sell survival food that lasts a long, 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 long time. And we do that because it can happen and it's a whole lot better to be prepared. So anyhow, this is the first email that they see. OK, you see that now when they click here and I'm just going to click on this real quick, they go to this link right here. They're going to see this page right here. This is the page they're taken to. All right. You see this page right here. Now, this says inventory sale. Let's look at this page here real quick. Half price sale, beef and chicken, limited availability. Now, beef and chicken, we were out of stock uh, with for a long time. It says regular price, $3.99 a case, 28 ounce jumbo cans. Okay, so we're explaining what the product is. Inventory special sale, $1.99, save 50%, 10 case limit, limited inventory. 10 case limit. Now, as soon as you limit somebody, they will tend to buy the maximum, which a lot of people do. And the maximum on this at $199 is $1,999, $1,999. But they don't have to buy 10, okay? But that's where you get the best price is $199. So down here it says save hundreds with free shipping on all orders. So it doesn't matter if you buy one or 10, I'm going to give you free shipping. <coughs> Excuse me. In addition to that, I'm going to give them this $29.95 value, uh, yours free with any order, this top secret uh, recipes, uh, or excuse me, top 10 recipes uh, with survival cave food. And it tells them all about, and they get this free ebook. Okay. Now here they've got a choice. Now, if you noticed, they've got about this far and they've got a choice. They can click to buy chicken. They can click to buy beef. All right. So if they click one of those, they're going to go to one of those pages. And I'm going to show you in a second, but I want to show you the rest of this page first. So if they buy one case, they can save $150 because it's normally $399. They'll pay $249 a case. If they buy five cases, they can save $800. It's regularly $399. They'll pay $239. But if they buy 10 cases, this is where they get the best price. That $199 a case was $399. They can pay $199. They can save half price. Now, right here, I go through all of the benefits of the product. It's slow pressure cook. Uh, we slow pressure cook our meats. Tell them how great it is. They're all USDA inspected. There's no fillers or additives. It's humanely processed. It's low sodium. And here's the here's the other part. I've got a money back guarantee. No questions asked. They can get their money back in 30 days. Uh, if they don't like it for any reason, they can send it back to me. Not a problem. And then I go back down here and I kind of repeat what's above because if I scroll this far, I still want them to have a place to click. Don't have just one place to click on a page. OK, have a couple different places. Uh, and then I show them 24 seven great support. I have a phone number that's right there. So they know if they need to get a hold of us, they can call. Don't do these pages without phone numbers, guys. I mean, people think if they can't get a hold of you, that's not good. They want to be able to get a hold of you. So let's go ahead and click on one of these. I'm going to say click to buy chicken. So I'm going to click on that one right there. Um, and this little pop-up happens. This is all done in Kartra, guys. It's all done in Kartra. Now, if you noticed here, uh, let's see here. Let me scroll a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, it you, they put all their information in here, all their billing information in here. And then they have to click right here, okay? And um, then I've got my email and all that good stuff in here. And I don't know. I, yeah, I think I'm going to have to put in like city and state and all this. Let me see if it makes me do that. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'll just put, uh, I, won't, I won't put anything in there. Um, and then it's going to go to the sales page, the actual sales page where they're going to actually pay for it. Okay. So that's pretty easy. Uh, but what if they don't buy? Okay. So let's just take a look at this. How do I know if they don't buy? Well, if they do buy, it's going to tag them as a buyer. And let me show you how that works here. Let me go ahead and go back and I'll go ahead and close out of this. If you guys are getting this, put in that chat section that you understand this. If you have a question about this, Put that in the chat section, okay? Uh, I want to make sure that you guys totally understand this. So what happens is, this is the split. This is the first email that goes out that I just showed you. And then one day later, see this is one day right here? This other split happens. Let's take a look at the split so you can see what it is. This split says, I want to look at these people. Now, if they don't have the tag SCF 2022 28 ounce chicken bu beef buyer, then it's false. And if it's false, it's going to send them to the next email the next day. Okay. So this is how it tells if it's going to actually send the next email. Let me go ahead and close out of this. 
And if it's true that they don't have that tag, it's going to send them to this next email. If it's false, see, it's false there. That's going to take them down here to this completion and it's going to take them out of there. So what it does is after this first email here, it checks to see if they bought. If they did buy, it takes them out of the sequence. There's no point in sending them to the same thing over and over if they already bought. They're going to say, hey, I already bought. Okay. So, but if they didn't buy, it's going to take them to this one right here. And let's go to uh, edit on this one. And this is day two email. It's day two email because I did the split one day after. You don't want to do that split immediately after because it may take them 30 minutes or an hour to get the sale through. Okay. So you don't want to do that split or checking to see if they're tagged until a day has passed. Once a day has passed. Okay. Uh, I've been put second 28 ounce 2022 chicken beef uh, email. And then I send out this other email. Let's take a look at this email. This is going out day two. And I'm not going to walk you through every single day uh, because I've done quite a few emails. This one ran for four days. And then on the fourth day, I sent out three emails as reminders. Uh, but it's going to send them to this email. And this one here says, important, please read. Well, what is that? It makes them want to read. Don't miss out on what's going on. Well, what's going on? What, what the heck is going on? Now, here's another cool thing about this. I could take this sequence and I could say I want to duplicate it. And I want to send it out to everybody who didn't open the first one. Pretty cool idea, right? You can do that in Kartra because that way I can send it to all those people who may have missed my other email sequence and I can start them all over again, which I'm going to do today. Okay. If they didn't open those other emails, I'm going to send them to this one uh, again. Right. Uh, and then I can also filter out anybody who has that tag that already bought because that filter is already in there. Okay. So it says here, yesterday I sent you a link to a video, but I wasn't sure if you got a chance to watch it. Don't worry, you've still got a little time, but you need to hurry. You can view it by clicking here now. We haven't done a half price sale ever, ever, okay? Yeah, it's that big of a deal. So you need to see the whole story by clicking here to watch the video I made for you. This is gonna take them to that sales page I just showed you guys. This is ending soon, so you need to get all the details before it expires. And I was just thinking about this. Let me take you back to this page here so you guys can see the video. And I'm going to go ahead and play that for you. And let me make sure, sorry about moving this up, but I want to make sure the volume is up. Let's see here. Okay, my volume is up and I'm going to go ahead and play this video that they see on this page right here. Hey, real quick, before you take advantage of this great offer, I want to give you something extra special. We've just come out with the 10 top recipes that you can make with Survival Cave Food Canned Meat. Now, it's going to sell for $29.95, but with any purchase on this page, I'm going to give it to you absolutely free. You're always wondering, I got this can of meat, I'm going to open it up, what am I going to do with it? Well, these 10 recipes you're going to love. Some of them take less than 10 minutes since we've done the hard part for you and already cooked the meat. Click the button below, take advantage of this, get the recipe guide, get free shipping, and take advantage of this great deal right now. Okay, guys, you see how that works now? So they're going to, and you know, the funny thing about survival food is, okay, I got this can of meat. What the heck am I going to do with it? Well, I'm supplying them this recipe book, right? Because I know that is one of the big problems is they don't know what to do with it. How do they make meals out of it? Well, this gives them all the recipes. Now, the cool thing about this recipe book is I, I made this recipe book in a PDF. So it's just a digital file. It cost me zero to send it out. Uh, but it's a great recipes. Uh, it tells them what to do step by step. And a lot of these recipes, they can do in 10 minutes. OK, because they may be short on time. And this will solve that pain point if I don't know what to do with the meat. All right. So there's that. So this is email number two. And I'm going to go ahead and go back here and exit out of this. Let me let me hit some of these questions here. Uh, let's see. So with your new product line, do you think the same system can be used as a pre-sell uh, for future sales of new product line to build anticipation? Yeah, I, I really kind of repurpose a lot of my funnels, uh, a lot of my emails that worked, um, sometimes videos, depending on what it is like this video here wouldn't work unless you're selling the canned meat, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Uh, really like the layout and colors on your pages, by the way, just saw a recipe for canned chicken crust for keto pizza that's interesting stuff 
That certainly is. Uh, Karen says, this is fantastic. Uh, curious whether you use Google Analytics. Absolutely. Yes, you should definitely use analytics. You'll know what's going on. Um, so this, this is the second email, guys. That went out the second day. Now, this next split is one day later, and it asks the same question. Uh, it says, do you have the tag? Uh, let me get over here. Do you have the tag as a buyer of the chicken or beef from this funnel? And there it is, okay? SCF 2022, 28-ounce chicken beef buyer. Do you have that tag? If they don't have that tag, we're going to continue on and send them another email. If they do have that tag, we're going to take them out because that's a false. Is this making sense to everybody? Are you understanding what we're doing here and how we're doing it? Uh, and I might as well just go ahead and show you this other email here real quick. We'll go to this one because we're into uh, day three now. Yeah, day three. And uh, let's see here. Uh, right after the other step. Yep, 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 yep. This is third email right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that email. And, and by the way, guys, I sent this out Thursday. We made thousands and thousands of dollars off this, okay? Um, this one I can run. I mean, look, look, you know, there's no really time thing on this. So anytime I want to sell some chicken or beef, I can just run this to my list. Um, now, what I did is I tagged everybody as the chicken or beef buyer but I put an expiration on the tag. So after 30 days, that tag goes away. Um, now, obviously, in the first 30 days, if they already bought it, I don't want to send them the same thing over and over again. But after 30 days, they may want to buy some more chicken and beef. So um, the thing with Kartra is you can actually have a tag expire so that you don't take them out of that particular sequence forever, but you want to take them out for a short period of time. So I, and I don't want to send them the same sequence twice in a week. That would be ridiculous. Um, all right, so this one here says... Uh, is this the definition of insanity? And then the subject, uh, the the sub subject line that they're going to see is I've literally never uh, seen demand jump like this, but the video explains it all. And then it says, hey, first name, uh, are you telling me this could be even worse now? Uh, this is the real story of why I'm offering half price food. Uh, you can see a video of my explanation by clicking here. Um, they just uh, they just kept stocking up. And I think this video was the cause of it all. So I'm building a lot of anticipation around this video. If you want to get what so many before you got, then you need to hurry and click here to see the what, what all the commotion is about. And I use silly words like commotion. Um, the video explains how important my customers are to me. And it's time to pay you guys back. Stay safe, JR. P.S. I don't know. Oh, no, excuse me. I don't want to miss out on, I don't want, I should say, I don't want you. So let me put the word you in there. Uh, see, we all make mistakes. And now I can, I don't want you. There we go. I don't want you to miss out on something that has uh, never occurred before. Click here to see how you can get this. Okay. So I'm going to click edit because I'm going to fix that email there. Oh, I think I just messed that up. Let me go back to that. I think I saw an error in there, guys. Did you guys catch the error? If so, put it in the chat section if you saw the error, because I saw it. I have a thing called Grammarly. Uh, Grammarly checks every single thing I type, and it will... Uh, see that? Look at this. See, I put the space in the wrong spot. All right. So let me fix that by going backspace there, by going here and space. There. And see how it had a red line to it? I don't want you to miss out. No, that's correct. And it's trying to... Sometimes it'll try to correct you. Uh, and so I'm going to say dismiss. I know you don't want, oh, no, wait, I didn't need you in there. Okay. I had it written right the first time. Okay. Boy, when I'm doing training, I can't pay attention. All right. <laughs> That's fixed. Okay. Does this make sense to you guys? You know, put something in that chat section, put something in that comment section. If this makes sense to you, let me get back to my other screen. Now, a couple of things I want to tell you, and let me uh, screen share. Stop sharing. Okay, so a couple of things I want to tell you is I have other things that play into this. If they um, go and they click and they go to the page and they visit the page, what I do is I have another sequence that says, for people who visited this page, send these emails. And I have another set of emails that says, hey, I saw you were checking out our canned meats. Uh, as, oh, I can't pull that up right now. But anyhow, it says, I, hey, I, I know you visited this page. You checked out our canned meats. Um, and you, oh, I don't want you to miss out. So what it does is this other sequence looks at the people who went to the page who did not buy. 
So it says anybody who went to this page but does not have the tag buyer, send them this set of emails and take them out of the first sequence. Does that make sense? So they're not going to get the first sequence anymore. They're going to be thrown into a different sequence of people who went to that page and, um, you know, didn't buy. Now, on that page, I also have an upsell. Uh, and that upsell is my book, The Great American Food Shortage. Now, people who bought the meat and didn't buy the upsell, I can send another sequence to them and say, everybody who purchased but did not buy my book, send them this sequence. Right. So I can keep parlaying this over and over and over. But this is all automated. This is all automated. So I don't have to do anything once I've written all this. Is it a pain to write all this in the beginning? Yeah. So what? You got to be doing something out there. Don't quit. Don't quit. When I first saw this, I'm, I was like, oh, I don't know how to do it. This is great. I can't even type. And I still can't type, by the way. I, I'll often talk about that. I can't type. Uh, let's see here. Karen had a message, but for some reason, they took out her message. Uh, let's see here. I don't know why they took out your message, Karen. For some reason, they did. Let me see if I can put it back in. It won't let me. Huh. Huh. Okay. So let me, uh, I'm going to put some of your comments on screen here. This one here says, Paul, just curious if your business is more seasonal and have you then created sales pages for slower times or sales pages for different seasons like hunting or Christmas season? Um, I do some Christmas ones, not always, but I do. Um, the past two years have really been unusual. Um, they've been very unusual because of that world illness thing. I don't think I'm allowed to say it. Um, so it was busy year round. Generally, the season starts around September, October when people go back to school, which they haven't. <laughs> Uh, and um, it ends, I don't say it ends, it slows down um, around March is when it slows down. Uh, let's see here. She says, Karen says she took it out. Why'd you take it out? Well, what did you say? Now I know what, wanted to know what she said. Uh, she says, oh, here's why. You already answered, plus I had a typo. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a problem. No big deal. Um and I want to show some of the other comments. You guys have some great comments. Now, the thing is, your comments, the majority of them are coming off YouTube. That's where the majority of my audience watches me live. However, this is also live on Facebook right now. Right now. Of course, if some of you are watching the recording, it wouldn't be right now, would it? Huh. Anyhow, so they don't see your comments. That's why I'm putting them up there. Uh, Karen did say, this is fantastic. Curious whether you use Google Analytics. And I apologize, guys. I didn't put all your comments up on the screen. I want to show some of them now. Um, this is the one Paul put up there. Really like the layout of the colors and your pages. By the way, just saw a recipe for canned chicken crust for keto pizza. You need to get some of my meat and make that, Paul. Uh, let's see here. So with your new product line, these are some of the things he put in here. Um, do you think the same uh, system can be used uh, as a pre-sale for future? And I think I answered that one too. I said, yes, it could. Uh, so guys, you guys, you know, you've really have been fantastic, as always, as always. I always get some great questions in here, but I'd love to answer some more. Has this been too complicated for you? Has this made sense? Now, here's the cool thing about this. I can make this, and anybody entering my ecosystem right now, in other words, if somebody opts in today, it's automatically going to add them to the sequence, and it's going to send them to that, and all this stuff's going to start over with them. So it's constantly evolving. It's constantly updating itself. Now, what I can do is I can stop the sequence. I can send them to another sequence. Um, I can do all kinds of different things with this. And I can do it all in Kartra automated. Automated. Um, and this is a Kartra automation. And I think probably what I would like to do, uh, and maybe, I don't know, if you guys are interested, would you like to see me actually build one of these things? Would you like to see how I actually build it in Kartra? If so, put that in the chat section. Uh, I'm going to be doing another live Wednesday and I'm looking for subject matter. But I know that some of this may sound complicated to you guys. Uh, and I could actually walk you through from nothing, starting a sequence to actually building out one of these sequences. And I don't know if I could squeeze it into 30 minutes, but I could certainly try that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, FYI, I like your non-live pre-recorded video. Looking forward to part two of customer acquisition video posted earlier today. Yeah, Billy's been working on that, Paul. I appreciate that. Um, 
non-live ones. Okay, yeah, you guys may not know about that, but uh, I upload videos um, throughout the week. Um, I upload them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday normally. I recorded 11 last week, and I edited one this morning, so I've got 10 more to do today. Um, but those are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I usually pick a subject matter. They're a little bit more concise than this is. There's not a Q&A because they're not live, but there's a lot of good information there, guys, to help you start, running, and grow your online businesses. And that's my tagline, start, run, and grow online businesses. Um, I also been working on some uh, more videos, Paul, uh, and those of you out there, if you don't know, I have another channel called Restaurant Quality Recipes. Uh, I had to alter a recipe that uh, my editor, he got a little bit too squirrely on me uh, and, put, <laughs> and put a bunch of flashy things in there, uh, but he was just trying hard. He's a great guy. Uh, so I had to take those out. We reposted that today at 10 a.m. And that's chicken and dumplings. Uh, I did one yesterday. And what was the gosh? I'm trying to think what I did yesterday. Oh, it was a chicken with mushrooms and garlic cream sauce with uh, buttered noodles. Uh, oh, my God, it was good. I know, and it wasn't locale, but I will say this. I will say this. I went over to the gym yesterday and I worked out pretty hard, you know, so um doesn't make it okay, but at least I'm doing something there, right? I don't, I don't want to gain too much weight. Um, so there's that. Uh, you guys, if you have any more questions, any more things you'd like to ask me before I get out of here, I'm a little over today. Woo, I'm way over. I'm 1038. 1038. I like to stay around 30 minutes, but you guys have been so great and so helpful. And we got new people in here and welcome Karen and Laura. Um, let's see here. What is Paul saying? I uh, would love to see that sequence build. Would you like to know more? Would also like to know more of what you overcame to leave the car biz. Ooh, that was a tough one, man. Uh, single dad, just so you guys know, you may not know about me. Uh, single dad, uh, raising kids. I got them when they were 12 and eight. Um, and I uh, was working six, seven days a week. I was also on the Virginia Beach Rescue Squad as an EMT. And I decided to start a business on the side. <laughs> So uh, I'm a masochist, I guess. I'm a masochist. Uh, right now, I'm building a, a restaurant uh, recipe, qu restaurant quality recipe uh, website. Um, so I'm playing around with uh, WordPress a little bit right now. Uh, let's see. Karen's got something to say. I like Karen. Karen's cool. Uh, are the tags auto-generated or can you write them manually? You write your own tags. So um, let's say I have a product uh, that I'm selling, like this, this canned chicken, canned beef thing, uh, and I make a funnel. And I, I add this product to go with this funnel, okay? So I can then say, when they buy this product, tag them with this tag. And what I do is I tag them with the same name as I called the product. And that way I know where it came from. So I create the tag and I create the product, okay? And you do all that in Kartra. All that's done in Kartra. Um, and yeah, I do feel like I ought to show you guys how to do some of that stuff because, man, it, 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 it was difficult for me in the beginning to know how to do this stuff. So I think that would probably be a good training. What I'll probably do, and I did this a couple of years ago, I would, before the live, record me doing all these steps just so in case I screwed up on the live, you know, it, it wouldn't be so obvious. Um, so uh, see, and then what I do in the live is I can talk to you guys and then play that video of me doing these things. And then you can ask questions of it. Uh, I'm sure being a single parent, it had to be a gutsy move. You know, I get that, Paul. I know what people mean by that, and it's very nice and all. But what, what's your choice? <laughs> you know, you don't have a choice. You got you. This is what you're supposed to do. You know, when you have kids, you have them for life. If you have a pet, you have it for life. That's just how it works. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and I've got another one, <laughs> Karen. Thank you, Karen. Well, wow, kudos on the parenting. Oh, they're both grown now. Uh, my son is 28. My daughter's 32. Uh, she has a four-year-old and twin two-year-olds, all boys. Um, my son works at the uh, Cleveland Clinic uh, in the ICU uh, and uh, is going to probably be moving on to Baylor University pretty soon to uh, um, further his education. But uh, he was snowboarding this weekend and he likes to skydive. So he's done some pretty crazy stuff, unfortunately. Now, nothing I can do about that. Manual tagging is great so you can create your own system. 100%. Uh, yeah, that's what all of Kartra is you're going to make your own tags and it's not hard to do. It's really simple. You do it on the fly. So I can, I can show you how to do that. Uh, Paul says, do you think you will offer products to use on food videos like Bobby on Flav City? Do you think you will offer products to use on food videos? Uh, I'm not going to do anything like what he does. Um, I do need to record some videos for my survival K food channel that is on the list of things to do. So I am going to be doing that. 
Uh, let's see here. Karen says, beautiful family. Thank you so much. Yeah, see me on uh, Facebook, Karen, uh, J.R. Fisher. Uh, feel free to friend me there. Um, we, I also go out on Fridays and we, we'll eat lunch. Uh, we ate at a Nolan style place this past Friday, which was pretty good. Uh, and I think it was, what was the name of that place? Bellhaven? I don't remember now. I don't remember what the heck it was, but it was really good. So I do that. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, you can also see those pictures. So that's what I got for you today. We've gone too long. I'm almost at 45 minutes. It's craziness, craziness. But you guys are so much fun. You've made it so much fun for me. I really appreciate it. You've hung out. You've hung in. And don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Think about it. If you quit, then what? If you quit, then what? You know, I remember when my business was doing really horrible in the beginning uh, and I had quit my job and things were going sideways. I wasn't making any money. And I thought, well, if I quit, then I got to go back to the job I hated. That's why I quit. That's why I quit the job. Uh, and I will talk about that more in another video. I don't want to do it today. So if you quit, guys, you got to go back to doing whatever it was you didn't want to do and the reason you started this. So don't quit. I mean, there's people making money at this. If there's other people making money, there's no reason why you can't make money. I promise you, if you stick in there, it will work out. You just got to stick with it, guys. If you need encouragement, post on my videos. Say what, what you're thinking. You know, uh, tell me what your problem is. Um, tell me what things are going on. Uh, Paul just says, see you Wednesday, gang. Uh, Paul is out, and I am too. I've been here too long. Guys, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate all your input. Uh, let's see here. We got somebody on Facebook. Deborah, what's going on, Deborah, over on Facebook? Hi, JR. Can't wait to make money. You're going to make money. Uh, let's see here. She says, I have to catch this on the replay. Feel free to do so, Deborah. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great day. I will see you Wednesday. Put comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, ring the bell. Turn the bell on. Uh, let's see here. One last comment. This is a great break. Back at it now. You guys have a great day. Love you. Talk to you later.